Hey guys, um, welcome to this new tutorial on Grasshopper. Uh, we're going to be looking at one of the operations that is quite interesting in um, Grasshopper, but it's a pity that, like, well, Grasshopper, unless you're using something like Hoopsnake or something like that, doesn't have recursion or like if you're scripting, right? So you would need to script it. Um, so we're going to be looking at how to do a um, geometric orientation of this uh, geometry, basically the, the concept uh, applied in Grasshopper and then we're going to, um, because this is something that I'm using a lot in Unity, so um, we're going to do one iteration of it here and then using those concepts we're going to just, um, you can follow some of the tutorials in, in Unity to actually do so there. Um, so. Basically, what we had from the past two tutorials, we were looking at how to create the average. And let's just put this into the face, maybe the top face, yeah. So we have the average point, and this is actually producing the normal vector. Um, to be honest, the normal vector we don't need, but like, um, it's just interesting to know how to do that with, it, with an expression. So, um, so, Let's do, basically what I want to do, it's an orient, right? So the orient node um, just picks a geometry, uh, it picks a plane, and it picks another plane, and it would just make a copy of such geometry in that new orientation, right? So um, the geometry that we want to do is here, is this cube, right? So that's the geometry we want to work with. So we're going to pick this geometry, we're going to define the orientation that it has, and we're going to make um, a new copy of it. So we could just collect the points as we did of a different face, let's say this kind of bottom face, and then um, just basically make this whole geometry kind of copy uh, itself up here, right? Uh, basically, kind of almost displace or move this geometry up here. But um, sometimes these geometries don't have, like if this is not symmetric, you know, like if this geometry wasn't kind of, this face wasn't exactly like this one, um, that wouldn't work. You need something like a, a mirror or a matching of the, the faces that are actually working, right? So for that, the Orient tool allows you to, um, to de describe your kind of personal coordinates by a plane, right? So we're going to do a plane. Uh, and one of the simple ways of doing a plane is a plane three points, right? So any three points describe a plane. Um, we need to describe such plane. And the first point in this plane, it's going to be the origin point. So let's use for this plane the, the centroid. So that's going to be our the, um, the main central coordinate for this plane, right? And then we're going to just describe uh, what is the x-axis of that plane. So the x-direction and the y-direction. So we're going to just use b and then this one. So this is going to be the direction and then this is going to be describing. You see, we have this plane sitting on top of the geometry. And this is good to say, well, this is going to be the, orienta the original orientation of this uh, cube, right? And once we make a copy of it, um, we I want to just basically make a copy of this guy um, on top of itself, but looking backwards, right? So almost like a mirror. Um, it's kind of literally a mirror, but with the orientation tool, you could just basically target any other place as well. Um, so you could target different faces or different places, depending on what your plane wants to go. Um, this is mainly all the basic uh, workflow around uh, any kind of um, recursive aggregation script. If you want to just create things like Bloom, if you've seen my project on uh, that we did for the Olympics, it's it's all based on this idea, right? You have like these three planes in a piece, and then you pick the piece and you just either copy it like in different orientations and um, in different places. So. Let's create the second plane because that's the main plane and then we need a target plane and we're going to just use, as we use this point and this point, we're going to use the other points now So to make the plane basically look in the opposite direction. So we're going to use this two, right? So we have this 
similar plane, but this plane now, um, it should be looking in different directions. So I reduce that as a kind of a source plane and the target plane here. Oh, we basically have the same thing. Let's invert this two. There we go. So yeah, um, basically by inverting these two, I'm just saying what um, the plane that was supposed to be exactly like this one, now it's gonna be flipped. Um, let's try not even using these two points, but just using the first two. So exactly the same, but inverting it. So that and that, yeah, and that works well as well, right? So as long as we're kind of getting the same plane, but inverted, you see that the X axis of the plane, uh, you are kind of creating this. Um, aggregation. So this, this cube gets replicated here and you have this new result, right? If you keep doing that, um, I mean obviously you will get a straight phase, but if you start alternating, let's say, going to in, in a different phase and so on, you could start creating a script that starts kind of building up um, a bunch of cubes. Obviously if that geometry is a bit more interesting, you would have an interesting kind of aggregation script. But as I've said, uh, this is kind of the theory behind of what we'll be doing in, in Unity to aggregate geometries. Um, understanding where the, let's say, the um, centroid of a face should be the normal. Um, Unity kind of calculates all that, but you could start kind of uh, aggregating these geometries to, to create a, a much larger piece. Right? So Orient, very powerful tool. And that's it for this one, and I'll see you guys soon.